for today's video, I wanted to bring you a review, a tutorial, and a demo on the new CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream and Powder Foundation. And I was the kind of kid who would push limits and push buttons whenever I could, and nothing really changed as an adult. So today, I'm going to be exercising and walking around in the 97 degree weather, sweating my panties off, and we are going to see how this foundation holds up. I applied half my face with Beauty Blender, half my face with my fingertips. So first off, let's talk about the BB Cream. It is $6.99 to $9.99 in drugstores. It is oil free, it is multitasking, and it actually diffuses light to create a more matte look and a matte texture. Now what's also interesting is that because it has a powder technology inside of it, it is actually formulated that when your skin starts to sweat or get oil on it, it absorbs and minimizes that. It does not have SPF in it. Most BB creams do, this one does not, but that's great for anyone who reacts negatively to sunscreen. It's supposed to give you a flawless matte texture. It is lightly buildable, and I have noticed from wearing it that it does not oxidize, which is bomb diggity. Oil is usually what changes the color of foundation, and in my experience, this has not done that. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. It retails from $5.99 to $7.99, and this one also has whoop, six different shades. Um, this is what it looks like. They say that this powder makes pores less visible, it allows skin to breathe, and it does not accentuate dryness. I notice when I use some powders that are supposed to be mattifying, they can almost dry out my skin a little bit. This one does not do that, although it does keep the oil at bay. So I applied that to my T-zone today, and I will show you how this fares. If you have normal skin, they have a different line for you. So this is the oily line. We are going to test this out throughout the day. They recommend applying with a beauty blender or with fingertips, so let's do that and get started. A clean skin. Skin, fresh out the shower. I am having a bit of a breakout here. That is my life. I do have scarring, acne, and texture, and that is what it is. I'm going to start off with the Clean Matte BB Cream. I'm using a mixture of 510 and 520. On this half of my face, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender, and on this half of my face, I'm going to use my fingertips. You know what the best part about filming YouTube videos is? You can't tell whether or not I'm wearing pants right now. So as you can see, even with the sponge and just one layer, I'm getting great coverage. And again, this is a BB cream. Normally BB creams are not this full coverage. So this is really great for anyone who does have acne or textured skin. It goes on very fluid, dries a little bit powdery, which is nice. And what's also cool is that as it's drying, it doesn't feel like it's drying out my skin or tightening my skin. It's not as buildable as some higher end foundations that I found that have more silicones in them. But this does have very good buildability for a BB cream, so. And for $6, right? <laughs> Next, I'm going to take a bit more on clean fingertips and apply it to this side of my face. Now, with fingertips, I've noticed this does set faster since the Beauty Blender is normally wet. You have a little bit more time to work with it, but I have noticed better coverage with my fingertips. So I am just plastering this on so that you can see the difference from one side to the other. I did some extractions on my forehead, so my forehead is super, super red, and as you can see, the fingertip side is covering much better than the beauty blender side. Over anywhere that I have scarring or a little bit more texture, I'm just going to pat a little bit more on, and I'm not wearing concealer today, so I'm also going to add just a little bit extra to cover up dark circles or veins underneath my eyes. I can make 13 chins. They said I could become anything. So I became an earthworm. That's like one of my favorite internet memes. I love you, internet. So here is how it is with the fingertip side, and here is how it is with the beauty blender side. This is a little bit more streaky, but it applies more product and has better coverage. This is amazing coverage for a BB cream, by the way. And this side is a little bit lighter, um, but looks a little bit more natural and a little bit more dewy until it sets. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. They recommend applying it with a sponge that it comes with and to your T-zone. You can wear this alone without any other makeup for some good coverage, um, but for me, I am just going to be applying it to the oily areas of my face. For me, I'm using the color 525. And I usually don't prefer this method of application, and I'm noticing that it is making my face look a little bit powdery, so I'm just going to take a regular powder brush, and that's how I'm going to apply this powder. I generally prefer brushes because they do give a much more flawless finish, which is a huge plus for anyone who has acne prone skin because the more layers you apply, the more prone you are to getting cakey. And if you watched my 11 things you don't know about me video, then you know that I don't like cake. That applies to food and my face. All right guys, so this is the finished result. Finger side, beauty blender side, and all of it has powder. Boom shakalaka. 
I am just going to do my hair and the rest of my makeup and we are going to get on with testing this throughout the day. Now that I have this on my face, it is time to get going. Um, I do like that it is light, it is breathable, and what's nice is that even when I was talking during the application, it did not settle into lines or wrinkles around my eyes or my mouth. So I am going to change up my outfit and let's test this throughout the day. This is my OOTD. This is pretty much athleisure, so it's athletic leisure wear that you wear every day. And because I'm going to be exercising to try out this foundation, this is what I'm doing. Everything I'm wearing is pretty much from Fabletics, which is Kate somebody's clothing line. I'm wearing a top that's a little bit open back just because I love the detail on this bra. And I'm actually wearing jewelry, a little mermaid bracelet there. And I am going to head to a doctor's office. Let's get going. So far, I have not even left the house and I'm already sweating. Um, but the makeup is holding up quite well. As you can see, you can see texture with this BB cream, excuse the mess. So we've got some texture going on, but overall, uh, my body is sweating, but my face is still mattified. This is vegan falafel from Trader Joe's and it is literally so tasty. So. And a male. Animal, hot diggity dog, it's animal. Just embarrassing myself in UPS. Did anyone else watch that on AFD when they were like four years old? Or am I the only one? I'm at the doctor's and all I want to do is play with all of the things that I'm not supposed to touch. They try to put a shot in my arm and I said no, no, no. So I have some travel planned to Puerto Rico. I'm really excited and they want to give me shots, but instead I said, no, give me pills. Um, also, when I was picking up the mail, nobody knows this because I haven't spoken about it, but I'm kind of in a legal battle and I've been in one for about two years. And so, yeah, I got a letter and I'm going to head and take that to the lawyer's office. So I'm gonna drop that off real quick and then we're gonna continue on with this adventure. You know, maybe when this legal battle is done, maybe I'll talk about it, but it's been an ongoing thing. I was injured. It is life. Also, these are the two books I ended up picking up. This is Lab Girl, which is a memoir that I've been really interested in reading. Um, super up my alley. And then this is the life-changing magic of tidying up that everyone's been talking about. I've spoken about this before, but I definitely have a hoarding problem with um, skincare, with items, uh, with things that in the past I thought made me valid as a human, which is not the case. So. Hopefully this will be life-changing. <laughs> So guys, just got done with class, and if you have questions about the cytoskeleton or molecular motors, I'm your girl. And this right here is the damage of a heavy purse. Thank you, life. All right, guys, so I have arrived at Planet Granite, and I just wanted to share with you my skin. My nose is kind of oily, but my forehead is good. My hairline, I can see where I'm sweating and where the makeup is not picking that up. So I'm about to climb up that wall, get super sweaty, and then give you an update on how my skin is doing. So. Let's put this to the test. By the way, this is about six, seven hours in, and seeing as normally my face would be a grease bucket, this is actually pretty impressive. So, let's do this. It ain't about the complications, I'm all about the elevation. We can keep it going up, or oh, don't miss out on us. Just wanna have a conversation. Forget about the obligation. And I definitely sweated a lot. So now that I'm in good light, I'm gonna show you. Literally, I could feel the makeup absorbing my sweat to a certain point. As you can see by my hairline, it's so much more oily, and by my nose it is too. But I'm shocked at how well this had a, I'm, I've been climbing for like two hours, and I'm so tired and my muscles are so sore. So uh, now I'm gonna refuel with some much needed carbohydrates, some glucose, and uh, you know, maybe she's crazy. Maybe she just needs carbs. You never know. Hi, baby. You like peaches? No. Guys, it is the end of an extraordinarily long day. As you saw, it did crease a little bit. And throughout the day, I was absolutely shocked at how well this held up. I literally had sweat dripping off of me. And around my hairline, it did get sweaty and my nose did get oily. The rest of my face, where I'm normally an oily mess, is completely mattified. Nothing is coming back. This is amazing. Um, I'm hoping you guys can actually see kind of where the oil accumulated right here. So is it 100% oil control? No, not for the 16 hours that I have worn it today. But also I literally sweated in this. 
this and this is how it's held up which is bomb diggity so what do I think of it for the price for $7.99 and $9.99 absolutely worth the money no question about it I did notice that after I sweated and it kind of dried back onto the skin um, it does look a little bit more cakey so keep that in mind so that is where we're at would I recommend this absolutely it is very full coverage for a BB cream it feels super light on my face, like I can feel that it's there, but I have to kind of think about it. It's very flexible and it's hardly creased at all. I have not touched this up all day. I have no smile lines. This one area, when I study really hard, I kind of go like this and I squint. So this one area is the only place that it has creased on my entire face. And no oxidization, no discoloration, no transfer. Totally good. That is how it held up. I hope that you enjoyed spending a very tiring day with me. This is literally the look of emotional and physical exhaustion. And this is the look of an angry kitty. Mwah. But now that my hair is sufficiently ruined, my brain is sufficiently tired, and my muscles are sufficiently achy, I'm gonna wash this off my face and go to sleep. So I love you guys. Thank you for spending another day with me, and let me know what foundations you want me to review in the future. So yeah, I will leave all of the ingredients and other information in the bottom tab, as well as my social medias, and I will see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.